What's up, guys? Of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, the Scaranger. And yeah, today we're going up with our fifth Lithio match, and it's against JJG. I don't know as John Diesel on his in-game name. I think I don't know as Joey actually on Twitter. Uh, make sure to check this guy out. His name is JJG Hernandez on Twitter, and he's Lithio League's gym leader of Water. And not double battles, but single battles. And look through his team here. I knew that I was in trouble. I just, I knew it. I knew it even going in that, you know, he is, has the type advantage. And I have to keep the sand up or I'll lose. So his Pokemon is using here is Azrael, Gudra, Rolling Wash, Jarado, Swampert, and Politude. I myself, uh, I gave a hip out on the boots because I couldn't bring three Pokemon's weak to water. I just, it was too risky for me. So I had to scrap it out on and go for Ditto here instead. And then that we have Sigilith, Fulf, um, Rotom, Excadrill, Tyranitar. And uh, the set I have on Tyranitar is the Smooth Rock set, special oriented. And like I said, I can't risk losing Tyranitar this battle. If I lose him, it's over. There's no way going back in it. And I didn't really want to predict starting off with the, um, with the Tyranitar because even if you start off with Politoed, it might be a safer bet for him to actually start with the Rotom, so I'm gonna start off with my Sigilyph just to... since I actually carry an Energy Ball, Energy Ball will do an immense amount of damage. So, uh, yeah, with all of this in mind, guys, let's go. So, yeah, no, yeah, my Sigilyph now has Life Orb instead of um, the Stolid set, so uh, my extra life have Soft Sand this time around just to kind of still have some kind of punch. My opponent here will start off with Politoed, and this was, well, shit. Because Politoed is super, super chunky anyway, so I knew that, alright, uh, he probably gonna go for an Ice Beam here, it seems kind of obvious. So I just gonna go to try and start taking that damage relay. And then after that, I was thinking, you know, I can go for a T Bolt, and I should do some fair amount of damage on it. You know, there's no way it would carry Focus Blast, it's a too risky move. So, he's going to go for Ice Beam, like I said, I did risk the Skull there, I could risk the Burn, due to, of course, me being special oriented, so I didn't really mind the Burn as much. It's burn! He has Focus Blast, and no! Tyranitar! And uh, I lost the Weather War, like, right there then. That was, that was tremendously awful. Uh, <laughs> that was so bad! Uh, so anyway, Fulf is kind of coming, and basically at this point I was like, yeah, damage. Damage. I have to. I have to really, really use the sand. Like I'm just gonna keep going. So he's gonna, of course, get to Jardos. I was really predicting to roll him. And he's gonna go for a turn. The return will actually do a good chunk of damage here, and I can actually win this Pokemon one on one because of the sand and, of course, me outspeeding him. So there is no reason for him to go for Dragon as we pack that, and he kind of realized that after the first hit. So while he's intimidated, I still hurt like a lot. So he's gonna go to his Rotom. And um, yeah, like I said, I just have to keep going. I don't care if I don't care if it burns me. I will still outspeed. So uh, I just, like I said, kept going. Damage, damage, damage. Fall, do it. And it's gonna whisk me. You know that's okay. Um, for uh, for fall, you know, burn is just a state of mind, really. Just he can't keep he can't keep going. And um, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Because as long I still have the sound up, so I still outspeed everything. So I knew that that is my way to go. So it's gonna go to Slippy, actually get rid of the rain because I still do a lot of damage even without or even with the burn. So it's gonna get away that sand and that's okay, you know, um, it will be fought out by the drizzle. And the return will still do a good chunk. Like I'm I'm not even mad about that. And uh, I'm just gonna keep going. There is no <laughs> there is no mercy at this dojo and it's gonna scold me and it's boosted by rain and all. But it's probably uninvested, and I will live, and the burn residual damage will still keep me going. So that means that his Slippy is out. Which also means, I really like that, that his Swampert's kind of um, offensive pressure is counted. And that is exactly what we want. So, as of right now, you know, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. And I'm just gonna go to my Rotom, as he does the same. And, um... I just decided to go for a Volt Switch. Since I haven't invested in speed here, I know I will outspeed with this and uh, like an aggressive set, so I knew that Volt Switch is my best bet. So, as of right now, the rain is still up, which means that I am still in trouble. Like, there is no way for me to really work around that. So, I'm gonna go to Mythos, just to really bring some pressure. He's gonna go to his Scarlet, and uh, 
I just, I don't know. I don't know if I can deal with this Pokemon. I just, I can't. And he's probably predicting me to be the setup set, you know, that's fine. And he's actually gonna taunt that just because he predicted that, you know, that's okay. And I predict him here to switch out to his Swamp Bird, so I actually decided to go for Hydro Pump. I know it sounds really risky, but at the same time, that is the play I would have made because it's such a great play. So he's gonna bring the team player, an unevolved monster Swamp Bird, while I do the Hydro Pump, and just suck on that. And yeah, that brings it down. That brings it down really well. And it's gonna go for Protect, actually not Mega Evolving while Protecting. And I guess that's kind of a misplay since the rain actually keeps going. So he, <laughs> I think that was a misplay. I think it was. So he's gonna switch out and I think I just kept going for Hydro Pump anyway. Because I wanted to take a hit from it and then retaliate with Hydro Pump. That was my main idea. Um, as you guys see here, there is not a lot happening there. And I was a bit scared about the Gudra, but at the same time, since he brought it in, and the damage that it took seems kind of vested. I know that he probably has only physical moves, so I decided to paralyze that Finn because I didn't see him switching out to anything else. And now I'm gonna go for Volt Switch, and uh, yeah, residual damage. I guess you know that, that that works. It's it's not the best, but it's better than nothing. And I'm gonna go to Kasher because I'm thinking that he's probably gonna go for Draco or D Pulse. I can take both of those moves. I don't really need to worry about that hit as much. And uh, like I said, I have soft sound this Pokemon, and uh, yeah, I think that helped out this time. I actually boost enough to take it out. That's a 20% boost, so that's great. Um, it's not really what I wanted, but at the same time, I had to do it. And I can't switch out on the on the Astoril because Awkward Yet is still a fin, and I knew that. So I had to just go for EQ. He's gonna show me Citrus, I'm pretty sure that's a Billy Drum set. And uh, he actually goes for Knockoff, knocking off my Soft Sand. And it's so close of taking me out, really. And I'm predicting him here to, of course, go for an awkward yet, because why wouldn't he? There is no way we'll play that thing differently. And um, that is exactly what happened. And I need to have my Excadrill kind of around. I mean, it's not making a big change, no. But at the same time, I had to make a call, and I did it. So, yeah, the Excadrill is going to fall here, which is great. I was very glad he didn't go for a um, Belly Drum. That would have been the worst scenario ever. So anyway, I'm gonna go to Sigilith here because now I can kind of bring, you know, I can do, I can deal with the Pokemon that are left. I think I have the power to do so. So he's gonna bring the Scarlet, which is the monster the Gyarados, and this is a defensive piece of ass the Gyarados. I mean, this thing takes damage. I am life four boosted with Psy Shock, and that did well, not enough. And he's gonna go for a Dragon Sail. So in Team Like Dragon Sail is what I've seen so far, probably Waterfall and that, and Jim. Um, yeah, Excadrill is going to enter Frey here yet again, and uh, I'm just going to go for Rock Slide. There is no reason for me not to do so. Had to switch out to Swamp Bird, I would still actually be able to kill it with an EQ. So his last Pokemon is actually the Swamp Bird. And um, yeah, this was a very, very interesting match through and through. Why? Well, he's going to go for a Protect Mega Evolve here, hoping to outspeed, and you know, I get that. Um, I'll ha I had to make actually a Call Care just to really make sure that I would outspeed. And, um, yeah, I do manage to actually squeeze a win here, which, you know, I'm just gonna say it to JJD, you know, he had, like, the first part of this game was his. It really was. The Stoutland denting, uh, you know, in the process where, you know, Fulf just kept going in with Intimidation and Burn, still, like, taking out the Politoed was, um, it did a lot for this game, it really did. And uh, the Swampert not coming through from his big evolution with Swiss Swim. Definitely, you know, dented what what could have been, you know, his his game really. So, right, my afterthoughts on this. You know what? I'm gonna be completely honest here. I fought my opponent to get his victory pretty early, and I think that actually was decides the game. I think me losing the Tyranitar made him kind of, you know, relax. Like he knew that he was only a good switch in from Swamper to really rip through my team, and I think. He not anticipating that Stoutland still hurt like a like a lot was something that you know it. I got so many more punches than I was supposed to make, and had he just switched in and out his um, Gyarados or even go so far and say I switch it on the Politoed back and forth, and then brought the Swampert protected and went for Waterfall, we'd have had a much much different game. You know I, I can't really I can't deny that fact, and I kind of knew that after the spell was done that. My opponent probably did some plays because 
he knew he had it in the bag and I think that attitude was what made him lose this battle because he plays a very very good game and you know I won't deny that fact he has beaten me before and quite easily actually so I have a huge respect for this battler and I even have this ask quest because I knew how the outcome could have been quite easily had he made that call so JJ Hernandez you know man that was a very very interesting match and I'm glad I had it it was an honor battle you man and I hope that we battle soon again and for everybody who's been watching, I hope you liked this spell. If you did just so, make sure to leave a like. And remember, the sky is limit, guys, and have a good day and take care, alright? Bye.